Hello, friends. It's Miss Brooke. I have a book today that I just got in the mail. I'm pretty excited about it. It's called My Magic Breath, Finding Calm Through Magic Breathing, written by Nick Ortner and Allison Tilly. Do you have magic breath? Let's see, take a deep breath in and blow it out. Wow, you do have the magic breath. The magic breath is special. It helps when you have too many thoughts running through your mind. At the end of the day, there is a lot to think about. Sometimes when you are worried or nervous or sad, deep breaths can help push some of those thoughts away. Think about when you feel happy. Taking a big breath in and thinking about something that made you feel great will help you enjoy your happy moments even more. It's magic. Let's try it out. What happened today that made you smile? Take a deep breath in and picture that moment in your mind. Get ready. Let's blow out all those happy thoughts onto the page. Now that looks like happiness. Keep blowing, keep thinking happy. Whew, that is a lot of happiness. I bet you have a smile on your face. A big smile can help you feel better. But sometimes things happen that make you feel sad or mad. Did something happen today that made you feel that way? I bet it's stuck in your mind. Let's try your magic breath again. Think about what happened. Now keep it in your mind. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Now blow out your breath here. <sighs> One more time, take an even bigger breath. Remember that happy thought? Use it to push out your sad thought. Can you blow that sad thought right off the page? Keep trying. Make sure to blow all the sad thoughts out of sight. Whew, you did it. Goodbye, sad thoughts. Do you feel better now? You used your magic breath to help you. Taking deep breaths in and out when you are sad or mad or worried or happy can help you feel better. Your magic breath can help you laugh and appreciate happy times. Magic breath can also help you feel calm when you are not so happy. Instead of having your mind full of thoughts at the end of the day, your mind is ready for sweet dreams. Let's do one big yawn together. <sighs> Time to give your magic breath a rest. Sweet dreams until tomorrow. You have a magic breath. You can breathe in your happy thoughts and you can breathe in and out your sad, mad, or stressful thoughts. I thought we'd try a few different types of breath together. We just practice that one where you imagine something happy, breathe it in and blow it out. Thinking about your sad, mad, or stressful thoughts, breathing them in and breathing them out. Another fun breath to do is the bumblebee breath. It sounds like a bumblebee. You're having a hard time pushing your breath out fast. This is a fun one to do. You take in your breath, and you blow it out like a bumblebee, like all the way out. Let's try it together. Breathe in and breathe it out like a bumblebee. Good job. You should probably be smiling now because it makes your lips feel a little bit ticklish. Another one you can try is the bubble breath. You imagine you're holding a bubble wand or you can have a real bubble wand available. Now take in a deep breath and imagine when you blow out 
that all of your troubles go into the bubbles and blow away. You don't have to keep them. You don't have to hold on to them. So let's try that one. Yeah, spin them. We'll see if this one works. You see all your worries floating away with your bubbles? So there's three different ways. You can think in happy thoughts or your sad thoughts. Take a deep breath in and blow them out. You can use your bumblebee breath, your until they tickle. And you can use a bubble breath. So you imagine holding a bubble wand or using a real bubble wand, that'll make it more fun. And blowing out, imagining the bubbles floating away with your worries. I'd love to hear about your experience. If you'd like to tell me about it, I would love to hear it. You can comment or let me know. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks.